Prince Harry has made it clear that he has no intention of seeking permission from King Charles III before embarking on future tours and engagements. This bold stance has sent shockwaves through the royal establishment, sparking a heated debate over the boundaries of the Duke of Sussex's autonomy. The issue came to a head when Harry and Meghan Markle recently undertook a high-profile trip to Colombia, which was dubbed a faux royal tour by critics. Despite not being working members of the royal family, the Sussexes have continued to conduct international visits, much to the chagrin of the palace. According to a recent poll conducted by The Express, a staggering 96% of respondents believe that the Sussexes should not have to seek permission from the king to carry out such tours. Only a mere 3% thought they should, with 1% remaining undecided. This overwhelming public sentiment seems to echo Harry's own defiant stance. Royal author Angela Levin, who spent extensive time with the Duke, has described his behavior as demanding and impossible, noting that he won't give in and won't agree to compromise. The tension between Harry and the royal family has been simmering for years, and this latest standoff appears to be a continuation of the ongoing feud. Levin has suggested that Harry's childish attacks on his family, even as his father battles cancer, have further eroded the already fragile trust. Moreover, the palace's refusal to acknowledge Harry's Invictus Games event or issue a statement of support has been interpreted as a clear message that the Duke is not welcome to conduct official quasi-royal events in the UK. And that's it for our video. I will like to see what you think in the comments. Thanks and see you in the next video.